All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys an adjustment you can be making on defense to send some really good pressure. This is gonna be out of the doll three two, multiple defense playbook, full scheme breakdowns in the members area. Get to know it, you have no choice, man. If you're trying to compete at the highest level, this is one of the defenses you're going to have to learn because it's one that I use to go on my high win streaks, 37 and 0 in regs. I jump from this one to the big nickel. Sometimes I'll go nickel over. It just depends on the situation. Sometimes it's zone and man. I know someone asked me, what do I prefer, man or zone? It depends on the player, right? If, if they're cooking me in zone, I'll switch to a man, man blitzes, and see what they can do because someone always has that one thing they struggle against, okay? So today we're gonna be in doll three, two. Uh, like I said, full skin break. We have trips, tight end, gun bunch, big nickel, three, three, cub, uh, wild trips, pats, all in the members there, full skin breakdowns for you to learn. And a lot of stuff is going to be usable in the next Madden. Now, as far as personnel, just take the linebackers out and put safeties in these positions. And then here, you really want your fastest cornerback. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to make this, but you could put your fastest cornerbacks right on the inside. And you can even use the uh, adjustment. I mean, the uh, substitution or the packages for CB inside. But let's talk about cover four drop because it's the play that you're going to want to use to try to slow things down and just try to get a good base coverage. But you can send pressure from this defense. And it kind of works the same way as the other ones that I run. So let's just run scat over here. We'll run cover four drop contain. And you can go through the coaching adjustments and set it to base. But if you don't, you have to base align yourself. So wire triangle left stick to the right for base. And then we want to press this wire triangle left stick down. Now you're going to notice there's a little mismatch on my left side with the quarters. Be careful with that because you could get cooked. So what I would do and recommend is just move him back a little bit, just like that. Next thing we want to do is we want to take Johnson and put him on a blitz. So we're going to select him, put him on a blitz. Alternatively, right, we can go ahead and use the quick adjust by pressing wire triangle twice, selecting Y, and then right stick down for blitz, okay? Next thing you want to do is leave the QB contain, but if I were you, I would recontain. So RB, R1 twice. And if you know if it's a pass, RB, R1, right stick up. Just like this. And this is gonna be our blitz setup. And this is gonna be the one that you come out with all the time. And you always wanna go opposite the running back because if you try to blitz someone that's supposed to be the flat, chances are you could get cooked. Now, what I would recommend you do with the curl flat is just put him on a flat like this. So he jets across the field and tries to, uh, what do you call it? Make it to where the quarterback's not gonna to wanna to make that initial read to the vertical because he will be running that way, right? In the way. So this is another option that you have here, okay? Now, once we pass commit, we're gonna sit here. I'm gonna put myself on a spy because I'm using two controllers just to simulate where I would be on the field. And this type of blitz right here, if it comes in, if he drops back, he's gonna get sacked. He's not gonna have a lot of time to throw the ball. So we snap the ball. We come around and boom, that's that's what we're banking on. If they sit in the pocket, chances are it could still come in, just a little bit more difficult. So remember, this is how dollar works, right? And then like this, I would set this up in a game easy. It's not that hard. I know people will be like, oh, you can't do that. Make sure that you re, uh, recontain. I, you may be able to leave the other ones there, but let me just sit in the pocket here. Boom, here, here, boom. It's like, you know, he's still coming around a four man. Nice little four man blitz that you could be using. Um, remember, you have to baseline press, you can shade underneath. Let's not use the contains this time. Let's not recontain, let's just leave it like this. I'm gonna put myself on a spy, pass commit. Let's just see if it still comes in. Yeah, you see, you might have to recontain to make it work a lot better because for some reason that adjustment actually helps. So again, let's do this again. We're gonna recontain, pass commit, come out here, move this guy back if you want. I wanna see if you actually get smoked here in a little bit right here and now he comes in you see what i'm saying so money there you're giving up the flat so you probably have to put that hook curl there trust me when i tell you this so let's go ahead and base align press go ahead and put this guy here recontain reblitz y and we're gonna leave this guy here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna put myself on a spy but i'm gonna block my running back because you're gonna want to block your running back and let's just see what happens here okay let's go ahead and leave this guy here now nah, see that oh no he's still coming in even with a blocked running back damn son but in the instant replay if we go back and look at this real quick this is what makes this play so phenomenal man is that we have the quarters out there and this guy even though like he was out of position the quarters themselves play so damn good in this year's madden that he couldn't even beat us over the side i think the only one they're going to beat you over the side like if you're using the dolphins and you run the tyree hill then yeah probably just throw it over his head but for the most part every other receiver in the game you're probably gonna put it work now can you send this from the opposite side i don't really recall it ever working on the opposite side to be honest with you guys matter of fact i'll do it i'll do it justice i'll use her this side right and let's come this way 
yeah you see it gets picked up really nice on the right side that's why you always have to run it from the same side but we'll try it a couple times just to make sure okay same thing recontain yeah see i mean it's not the same it, it has to come from the other side so your base setup base align press blitz him recontain pass commit wrap right here on a cloud flat and this is the base setup and then from there you can do whatever you want man so look i mean right there he got picked up and if he gets picked up your user's not there then guess what they're gonna hit you with some with some dots because the cover four drop really easy to attack as far as the coverage goes this is why you want to blend it in with everything else that you're running okay i'll shade underneath i'll go ahead and put this guy in a cloud flat or hard flat we can play the hard flats if we want or it's probably because i didn't put myself in a spy bro remember you're, you you want to sit on the line for a little bit this is just gonna throw the a off the ai off right I'll go ahead and hit that like i said if it doesn't come in your user better be on point because if it's not then it's going to be money for the guy that's running that on you now as far as other adjustments in the back end you can alleviate a lot of the other stuff right we can run a like we could take x and put him on the flat while we blitz this guy right now we have the curl flat out there to put this guy on a deep path like this okay so we can run a cover two style right here you know what i mean and then you can put this guy on a curl flat set him to about where you can put the cloud flat like at five or 25 and then have the curl flat drop down to five and have a little Mabel set up on that side. You know what I'm saying? Let's recontain, let's make sure. I mean, I might be just be doing the adjustments too fast. So we try to look to the left side, boom. We'll have that cover two shell, that cover two look on the left side. And I mean, that's just one of the things that you can be doing, right? I mean, you don't really have to just do that. You can go ahead and baseline press. You can blitz this guy. You can put this guy, you know what I'm saying? You can do that. And then put X. I would leave X on a quarter. If you can leave him pressed, leave him on a quarter. Put this guy on the inside third this way. Okay. Just different things that you could be doing, man, to really throw your opponent off. Not it's, it's not gonna work all the time. It just depends on the situation and what you're facing. But you'll you're gonna have this guy screaming for the most part. Now, another thing that's good about this right here is that if they're starting to run the ball, you can baseline pinch crash. The run fits from these guys you could bring these guys into the box if you're not sending them you can still send the blitz but you always want to use their opposite or the same side as the running back so if they try to run this inside zone right you'll have more of a run fit there now I'm, i don't have the user because once i snap the ball but the user let me man up the you let me let me just do this right let me do this how i would do in a game okay let's say i'm blitzing this guy um i'm gonna go ahead and leave my my myself here and then when i snap the ball oh i didn't audible my bad my bad guys now the blitz isn't going to come in if you're selling out for the run remember that it's the inside zone let's just say you're trying to get him to pass right we blitz this guy but let me just show you i'm gonna go to inside zone and honestly i'll snap the ball but i'm gonna show you what i do with my user i wrap around the defense i will shoot the gap this way okay if they have jukebox you got to be careful because once you do that they'll just jukebox to the right the better runners the better toters are going to do that hard to stop not gonna lie may get may even get you out a dollar so again we'll do this way and then we wrap around ourselves and try to close the lanes you know what i'm saying um i didn't get around that well enough shambles for me you can also leave them there and then crash and then blitz y like this and then stay here okay so we go to inside zone you can just try to cover the zone here with the user and just really ball it up. it just depends on what setup you're going to need to use but like I said, the jukebox guys can juke right. They take off to the right. You're going to have to probably get out of this defense and go to like the big nickel. This is why I float back and forth between nickel over, big nickel, 3-3 three, three cub. All the stuff that's in the members area, man, that you need to learn. Anyway, there it is. Hope you guys enjoy the blitz. Use it within your schemes. There's a bunch of different plays. This isn't just the only play that we use. And you can actually use this play when they need a lot of yards. So if they're going for it on fourth and 20, third and 20, you can come to this play right here, right? You can do that because these cover four quarters do play really well. Where you struggle with is when they run a clear out with a corner out. Obviously, you're going to have to run a Mabel with a cloud flat set to about 30 on the zone drops. Take advantage. Love you guys, man. Peace.